may our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit be with us. So, on this video, um, you know, our Father is going with me to, I spoke about it way back, you know, like when I first was, you know, just waking up to the truth of this world. Uh, I just made a video just talking about being perfect, you know, and this is a, this is a heavy thing. This is an, um, like, it's a, it's a hard word, you know, as I was reading the scriptures um, the other day and just truly understanding what it meant when Messiah was saying all of the wisdom that he was saying. And then you had the tall ones that left because they were like, this word is too hard, you know, and, 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 I, and I know what that feels like. I mean, to me now, when I read the scriptures, it's like the entire word is too hard. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I mean, it's like when I look at Abraham's faith level and just all of these different, like everything that scriptures are and what it all entails, you know, it's a hard word, you know, I, it's like, I'm going to accept it though. And I love it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's the truth, you know, but that's where the air comes in at because I mean, first, the most beautiful thing about it is just to address the fact that this right here, no other deity, no other mighty one, nobody else is saying what our father in heaven is saying. So now that right there like the things that he's saying the certain things that he's saying you know nobody else is saying that stuff you know like for me i take it as our father in heaven he was just real with us he was being real with us you know he told us to be perfect you know and this is another reason why if you look i noticed this too and satan is going to continue to do it but with with them coming out with because i question like why are they still even making new translate like they're making newer and newer translations is because Satan is watering down the scriptures more and more and more, you know, taking out words like perfect, you know, and things like that to tickle the people's ears, you know, like, you know, you just go back to Hebrew, though, we know what's going on. But even if you just go to the realer, you know, interpretations that are just telling you what, like, what was said, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's saying be perfect specifically with this one, but like other things like he's saying heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. You know, he's even telling us about that there's other gods, you know, like a lot of these other guys don't even tell you that there's other gods. I mean, he's, he's literally telling you, he's t he told you literally everything, you know. That's why I love our father in heaven because Satan is literally leaving like everything out. <laughs> and our father's like, I told you everything, you know what I'm saying? It's like you got your real friend who's really keeping it a beam with you. And I did this in the world, so I know what this is like, you know. It's like I'm show, I show love to, to my fake friends more than my real friends. You know, my real friends was being up front with me all the way. You know, my realest friend being our father in heaven, you know, like my wife, you know, all, all of these all like the realest friends I had, you know what I'm saying? And I was being fake to them, you know. I had to repent for those things. I'm like, man, why wow, this sucks. Like, I'm over here treating, I'm treating my fake friends better than my real friends. You know what I'm saying? I, I had issues with that. Like, our father never helped me out with that. He's like, you gonna keep what you doing? Like, come on, man. <laughs> is it because I'm being real with you? <laughs> like, you gonna, are you gonna run away? Like, nah, bro. Like, Satan is lying to you. <laughs> but yeah, so you, you hear this command. I mean, first, it's so much to say about it. But we're going to keep it simple and basic because this is what our Father in Heaven is. So he says his Torah is perfect, right? In Psalms, we have a scripture that speaks about, like, I got to look at it again, honestly. But it speaks about being perfect. Like, and that there's levels, I believe, of, like, perfection. I believe that's what the scripture was entailing. Because it's like it's linked up with Messiah showing us the level of perfection like that like honestly messiah just reached the highest level possible that you could reach down here as a human having the ruach without limit he was blessed to have the ruach you know it's just and then this is something that from what he did we are all blessed to have the ruach he just showed us he showed us how strong he could get down here i mean that's just the that's just what it is yeah I mean, Father One, I'm going to link those scriptures together as well, too. Just so those are there. But, so, yeah, he told us. He told us to be perfect as our Father is in heaven. I mean, he told us to be perfect. And the thing about it is that, first, if you don't believe that you could be perfect down here, you just don't believe in Messiah. And that's just something you're going to have to question yourself about in your own belief in your own faith because Messiah was perfect is still perfect you know <laughs> it's perfect but what he did down here that's just undeniable everything he did what he did how he did it he, I mean he said be perfect as your father is in heaven and then he showed us you know so 
you could literally just read about what he did and if you follow messiah as we are called to follow messiah you know messiah told us to do do do, do works that do works as he did and i believe he said greater as well you know what i'm saying so i remember playing this game it's called well it doesn't even matter what it's called but i remember playing this game and on the game i mean you would just do missions or whatever you know it's one of my you know one of the funnest games i ever played i remember like beating it i believe previously before i did this but i did this on a few games some games i liked it to um go through and watch somebody else play it and honestly beat it perfectly because if you do it this way you, you can unlock certain things that it's impossible otherwise you know and as we can see that happened with Masai. <laughs> you beat the game perfectly there's no other way to unlock what he unlocked unless you beat the game perfectly you know that's just what it is you know on top of him being the son of our father in heaven our father's like i gotta bring my son literally down here to show you all like my right hand down here so i can show you all like what like what i was calling you to do since genesis you know he called us to master this life i mean he called us to be perfect you know like he told abraham to walk before me and be perfect that's a command he gave all of us you know walk before him and be perfect he said his Torah is perfect. And then Messiah didn't bring, like, this is the thing about Messiah too. Obviously he had wisdom from heaven, but he came down here and used what we had and progressed, you know? I know there's some people who's just like, it's Messiah, you know, the son of God. I mean, like, obviously he'd be perfect. And then some people even believe he's God. So they're like, obviously he'd be perfect. No, I mean, you're just watering down the scriptures and you're taking away what actually happened. You know, that's not what happened. Don't don't add to the word or take away from the word. That's a that's a very bad thing. You don't want to do that. You're, it's best to shut up and just read it and understand what it's talking about and just take the word as what it is, you know. There are certain things obviously that our father is calling us to cuz you know he has secrets of secrets in heaven. But if you're like there's secrets of our father in heaven, but you have to understand like what those secrets are and that comes with having a relationship with our father in heaven and i'm leading you to certain things and like as i told you i'm, I'm gonna link scriptures up and these are like the type of things that he's talking about you know what i'm saying link the scriptures up you know what i'm saying so we can so we can get the deeper revelation of what's going on you know what i'm saying that's different from adding to his word and taking away from his word it's just studying his word and just you know like doing again what this like just doing what we're called to do you know if you love our father in heaven you want to figure out more about him i remember i tried to figure out everything about dc encyclopedia or marvel i tried to figure out everything about this fake stuff you know that's what a lot of people do you know they get into a bunch of fake stuff you want to figure everything about everything about about avengers you know what i'm saying you should want to figure everything about about our father in heaven but yeah so remember playing this game you know in the game <laughs> You can only unlock these certain things if you literally like s rank every mission that's what it was so somebody's online and they played the game perfectly they s rank every mission didn't even get hit i believe on this game but there are some games that i like i watch people and it's like you'll just see them and they're like they never got hit you know like they'll just go through the whole even on like fighting games you can look up like street fighter you know and i'm not saying to like watch it you know what i'm saying but you can look it up just to see it you know what i'm saying and just to look at how it's like Street Fighter, no hit or whatever, you know, and it'll just show you, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll beat the whole game or whatever without even getting hit and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they beat the game perfectly. Like if you don't get hit by the enemy, I mean, you just beat the game perfectly. Nothing happened to you. Like, so they, so they mastered that game. And the reason that they mastered that game, and I know about it because I used to play games so much. I know that it's possible to master a game and I know that it's possible to be perfect at a game because you play it literally so much that like it's impossible for you to lose i mean like you play it so much and i'm talking about like years like you've been playing this thing for years like you know how to use every character on, on certain games you know like you could do whatever you want you played it so much like you played it so much you've been grinding at it so you know just like they say perfect form push-ups pull-ups dips like i've heard i've heard people even tell me like i'm not guessing it you know father never knows like they're like yo like like you're doing that perfectly like your form is perfect you know like it's because i it's because i practiced it so much that that's just what's gonna die and that's my goal you know my goal is to perfect inner first and then the outer you know what i'm saying so yes my goal is to be perfect as i as i father never said you know that's not a command for me i'm just i just want to do what they said but i know because what i'm getting to is that if you just follow messiah step for step you know and as we're called to do it's called to you know follow messiah you know what i'm saying he said follow me you know that's what, that's what i'm saying you follow him 
you know, you're going to be like him. You know what I'm saying? This is just, he was unblemished, you know? But so in the game. So I just remember looking at these videos. The guy is going through every single mission, S ranking every single mission. And it's like, it was fun and challenging at the same time. It's fun because I'm like, I got everything right here. You know what I'm saying? Online. I'm like, yo, I got the whole, I got the whole game like mapped out, bro. Like the Holy Bible, you know? But then I'm like, it's also challenging because, pardon me as well. It's also challenging because I'm like, I have to follow this guy like step for step, you know, because you would go through different bases, different weapons and all this type of stuff on the game. So I would have to have his his whole loadout. You know what I'm saying? He got stun grenades. I got to get stun grenades. You know, I may not have enough money, so I got to work harder to get stun grenades. So I get stun grenades. I get I get all of the guns he got, you know, all of the equipment he got, everything that he's using. And I would have to I would have to first like that was just a whole another part of it. I had to get all this equipment. You know what I'm saying? And then after I get his, all his equipment, you know, it's different. Again, it's different bases. So I will have to run through the base this, the same exact way he's doing it. Take out the same exact enemies he's taking out. Beat the boss in the same exact way he's beating the boss. You know, I'm pausing the game, looking back at it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can do in this life. You know what I'm saying? You got to pause. You can read the scripture. You know what I'm saying? What Father one I'm about to do after I take this. <laughs> after I get off here. So basically what I'm saying is that if we follow, as Messiah said, if we follow Messiah, step for step i mean we're gonna be perfect you know you're you you are perfect you know what i'm saying if you're following messiah as we we're being called to do that's you being perfect and now again this is a heavy thing that's being told especially because just i mean how we've been raised i mean you've been raised on the fact that nobody can be perfect so it's it all comes to dying to the world too because if you don't fully die to the world and it's like scriptures even say this now, I'll break it down in two different ways. So, it's like, I can't be 99% so for our Father in Heaven. And then it's like, 1% of me is still in the world. You know, it's not going to work that way. You have to fully leave the world. You have to 100% it out of that. It's got to be 100 to 0 with that. You know what I'm saying? If you have any, if you if, if you don't hate this stuff that's going on, you know what I'm saying? You just you just, you just just got to understand what's happening. You know what I'm saying? You, you, we have to, we, we want to be friends with our Father in Heaven. You know what I'm saying? If you're if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of our Father in heaven. You know, that's not what you want to be. And then even in the scriptures, it says if you're following everything, but just not this one thing, that means you're sinning. You know, you're, you're sinning. You know what I'm saying you're going against everything. You know what I'm saying. And I believe it speaks about that in James. You know, you gotta follow everything all the way. You know, and that comes with as the scriptures even talk about time and time again, as Messiah is our Father's Messiah. You know, he's our Messiah. He's our Father in heaven's son. You know, he's not who our father in heaven is you know what i'm saying like that's what satan wants you to believe again as we spoke about in this last video father one this will be posted after the last video that satan wants to be the most high so he's trying to he's being so blasphemous that he's trying to mix even the son of god and trying to say he's the our father in heaven you know what i'm saying like this is how blasphemous he's being you have to stop listening to his lies now you have to fully come out of the world to just understand the, the word i mean the word is simple that is being spoken to you. It's harder to walk the way, obviously, but that's not don't 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 run away like his other taught ones did before, though, when they heard this heavy word, you know, because, you know, you following Messiah is just it's, it's perfect. You know, it's just it is what it is. You know, again, I know it's a very it's a very heavy word. You know, it's, it's even like the fact that you you know, you're, you're called the, you're called the fast. You know, what I'm saying like continuously you know we're called to fast i remember the first time i heard that even hearing that you know fasting no food no water and things like that like this is a heavy word that can make people walk away you know what i'm saying even fasting with water but having to do it every you know week you know every all throughout the months you know every year you know this is what you're now doing with your life you know it's a heavy word you know what i'm saying even people i've spoken to people and it's even like even just reading the bible you know just reading our father and heaven's word like that's that's a heavy word on some people as well to even just read his word like i gotta keep reading it what you know it's like i mean first if you love our father in heaven you're gonna go after everything that's that's being spoken about in this book and it's interesting to me because people feel as though they hold on to so many truths like they say even like you can't be perfect and it's like with that it's like and not not offending anybody because again this is a heavy word to take so it's not it's not like that it's, but it's it's this is just honestly and now to trickle it back this is just what i believe in as well so if you're saying you believe in the god of the bible and this is this is this is directed towards you you know what i'm saying if you know i'm called to let others do what they do as well if you don't believe in the bible and you do what you do is as the scriptures say 
you do what you do, you know, we're going to do what we do. We're going to be more set apart over here. We're going to be more righteous. This is what we're doing. So this is for the brothers and sisters that need help with this, you know. So, yeah, I mean, you hear this word. It's a very heavy word. And it's it takes everything out of you to, to do this thing, too. It's not you have to come out of the out of the world all the way because this word is so heavy. It's so powerful. This is just this is this is just this is what it is you know but for these people that say things like you know you can't be and like can't be perfect and they and they follow like it's like you have to look at what they're following look at who they are as a character inner first inner outer look at how they go in their day to day you know and it's like this can just tell you about the direction that they're going in you know health wise even down here you know what i'm saying mentally you know what i'm saying you can see like where that's taking them and what's happening to them Anybody that's truly following our Father Messiah of the Spirit, you can see the where we're going. You know what I'm saying? You can see that we're leveling up, we're being more righteous, we're being more set apart. You know, in our first and in the outer. You know, like that's just what it is. You know, and then even thinking about how they can't even explain to you, like the benefits of why we should do what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the lies from Satan versus against what our Father Messiah of the Spirit is. I can tell you since I've started this journey on following what our father never said back in 2020 when I knew my son was being born is when I really was like, yo, I got to get on this beginning of 2020. I got to turn up. You know what I'm saying? You know, father knows I cut a lot of stuff cold turkey as much as I could start fasting as best as I could. You know, sometimes I stopped a few months. I stopped when I was doing it. You know, like right now, our father's blessed me to be a year and some change in a fasting straight. You know what I'm saying? As in like continuously fasting throughout the weeks, you know what I'm saying? I only took one week off. You know, I praise our Father, you know. I'm going I'm going for more, you know what I'm saying? I'm going for more. I'm trying my best, you know, brothers and sisters. That's what it's about, too. It's going as hard as you can, you know, trying trying your best, you know. Don't hear to this heavy word and just and just leave and just quit, you know. But the benefits that I that I found since starting my journey, they're just I can't put a word on them, brothers and sisters, since I really try to do everything that the scriptures are talking about going after everything that the scriptures are talking about you see a difference you definitely see a difference and people have seen differences when i've met them like re-met them you know what i'm saying I haven't seen them in a while and you know they've said what they said to me you know what i'm saying it's just our praise our father Messiah, Holy spirit you know i'm man there's many benefits to walking this way you know i can tell you one thing for sure is i'm not dead on the inside anymore i used to feel like i was just dying slowly every day i just felt like i was already dead you know and that affected me in my day to day you know and i didn't want to be a dead man you know in front of my son like i'm just a dead man you know like nah that's not that's not what i wanted to be i mean you start following what our father my son the spirit said following them following him you know what i'm saying following messiah to our father in heaven nah being perfect you you you're you gonna feel the difference you're gonna feel the difference and it's gonna be unspeakable that's an unspeakable difference you just, I mean, if you if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, I pray that you may understand the difference because you definitely feel out of this world, you know what I'm saying? All the way into his word, and that's just a whole different thing, you know? But, yeah, it's like, honestly, it just comes with believing our Father, Messiah, Holy Spirit. You know, if you, if you don't believe that Messiah was perfect, I mean, you just don't believe that Messiah is who he is, you know? Or you, if you don't believe that we can be perfect, you just don't believe Messiah is who Messiah is, you know? And there's things that you can do down here that are perfect, you know, like even driving perfectly. You know, I drove with some people where I would say they drive perfectly. You know what I'm saying? They they just drive perfectly. You know what I'm saying? They don't make any errors. There's no errors that they make. So if you're doing something and you're not making any errors, then you're doing it perfectly. Now, as in growing and things like that and making a mistake because you're still growing, that's, that's okay too. You know what I'm saying? Understand what Messiah did though. Messiah studied day in and day out like psalms one if you read psalms one it's like a tree planted by the rivers of water you know what i'm saying he studied day in he studied day in and day out you know he knew the scriptures he was reading the scriptures and he was following what he was reading you know what i'm saying and going off of the wisdom that he had having the rock in his body and having a relationship with our father in heaven he was just going off of the things our father in heaven was telling him to do listening and being obedient if you follow the words of the scriptures I mean, yeah, it's gonna. It says our, it says our Father never Torah is perfect. His law is perfect. So if you're following His perfect law, you're going to be perfect. And then if you, even if you're just doing what James one two seven said, our Father never is perfect religion. You know, taking care of the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and being unblemished by this wicked world, being unblemished by this world. You know, yeah, you know, you're you're doing what our Father never 
commanded us to do, you know? That's being perfect to our Father in Heaven, you know? Honestly, even when you, when I look at my son, my son is perfect in my eyes. You want to know why? It's my beautiful baby boy, you know? Regardless of the mistakes that he's already made down the line, you know, Father willing, he even lives to see down the line. I already know. Will I pray? He will repent, you know? That's just, that's just how I see it, you know? People look at me even on the path that me and my wife were on, raising our child, and they're like, it's like they're already down, doubting it and downplaying it. And I've heard many different things that I don't even want to repeat because it just hurts my heart. You know, it's like people see the route that I'm on and they say certain things to me like, yeah, you know, he may do this or what you going to do when he does this or whatever. And I'm just like, man, like this, like it's the fact that it's like, like you guys, first you guys don't have any hope. <laughs> Where's your hope? And then it's just like, why we got to think negatively first? You know, it's like. I get that human stuff, you know, where as humans, Satan brainwashes us all to desensitize us all, you know what I'm saying? So think negatively first and, de and be desensitized to everything, you know, it's like, well, hold on, you got a heart in there? Like, listen, first, you're saying this to me in my face, and honestly, it makes me mad, you know, but I, I, I have to be angry and not sin, so I had to eat a lot of stuff, brothers and sisters, when I heard that stuff. I'm just like, first, I mean, like, I spend every day with this guy, first, you don't even know this guy's character, like, you, you don't even know legend, you know what I'm saying? You don't know his character. You don't know. You don't even know anything about him. And he could be a baby, toddler, but he still has a character. It's forming. You know what I'm saying? Who he is is forming. I can see it. I can see who he is. You know what I'm saying? It's my guy. Like, it's like I hear that and I'm just like, man, like, I mean, I will keep the faith. I will keep praying. You know, I pray that he is a true prophet. All of the children that our father has told me he's going to bless me with in Naraya, who's in my wife's womb right now. The second, Father willing, we will have a third, Liam, you know? And I already know because our Father in Heaven told me and I believe in our Father in Heaven and we've seen them in dreams, you know, and I believe that these dreams are true because Raya came out, Naraya, she's going to come out, Father willing, just like how we saw her in our dreams and the character that she had and my other children, which we've seen already, you know, like people say these things and I'm just like, man, you know. This, so this is what it, so it's like, I go by what you're following, you start talking to people like that, you know what I'm saying, like, nah, like, I have compassion, you know, man, I like compassion, you know, like our brother would be saying, you know, it's like, but that's just what we're called to be, you know, it's like, I love everybody, you know, I would that your child is, 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 is you know, definitely not like that, you know, it's like, I pray that they, they stay on the way, you know, they're true prophets and true prophetess as well, you know, to the people that have told me things like that or felt things like that, you know, just like, Man, this guy's he thinks his child is going to be perfect. Ha, 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 ha. You know, like, they're going to do this and that, you know. And I'm just like, well, I pray that they repent, first of all. You know, like, we already know what the scriptures say. I mean, that's just is what it is, first of all. You know, and then it's like, second of all, again, it's like, you have no hope. Do you, like, there's just, are you, you just, like, what, like what, what are you saying? You know, like, I was talking to our father many times about, like, so what are they saying? You know, like, are you just like, you're like, what happens? Like, like I have so many things I can say. It's like, what's going on in your mental that it's like, that's the first thing that you would say or think about, you know, like the first thing that you would say, it's like, it's not like, man, yo, like what sports you want him in? Or, you know, and I had conversations like that with some brothers, you know, and that's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, first things is like all negative, you know, it's like all the straight negative, you know, they see the path I'm walking in and it's like, Okay, he's following the Bible. Well, this and that, you know, they do, they do this and that. You know, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I mean, one, I, I mean, I also do, I don't even want to think about that right now. <laughs> you know, like, but I mean, I know I have wisdom, so I already did personally. You know, I don't need you to Satan, you know, I don't need Satan to tell me this again in my face. But we already know what, what, what what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So I just take it as what it is. And I'm just like, you know. Honestly, you all will be very surprised at how they turned out with sound minds, you know, like I already know because I've already seen them in dreams, <laughs> you know, like it's not even enough for me to say. Our father's already allowed me to see that stuff. You know, he already allowed me to be like, son, it's already it's already done. You know, he's like they're in my hand. You know, he's going to break Satan's hands. He tries to touch these children, you know, and that's all of us, all of his children, you know, on our walk, you know, on our walk to perfection that these people hear and they shudder and they get oh, they get all scared, you know. Any true brother or sister, you heard the calling, you accepted the calling, you walk in this way. You know, Messiah was left with 12 tall ones. One of them was the devil, you know, like, yeah, like, and then all the tall ones that are just 
following him after. He prayed for us already. He already prayed for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're already prayed over by Messiah, brothers and sisters, before he even left. Pray for anybody that will follow him. Like, we're already good. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it means to be following it and doing the scriptures perfectly and to following everything perfectly, as we spoke about again in the last video. Yes, there's things spiritually I can't do anything about, but I have our Father in heaven. It's not like I'm just like by myself. I'm I'm a I'm a co-parent. Their parent is our Father in heaven. And that's what I'm going to tell them about. So if they have our Father in heaven, I'll be talking to our Father in heaven like a lot about if I knew about who our Father in heaven was, even if I strayed off the path, but just knew who he was. And I'm talking about like really knew him, like how I did like in 2020 when I was like, okay, bet like you're legit real. Like you bless me with a son. This is legit real. Like this guy is real. Like, bro, like I'm not gonna act like he's not real. He's real, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep playing on myself. But if I knew about this since young boy age, like baby up, like brothers and sisters, think about if you knew about the scriptures, and I'm not trying to boost it, but like humbly speaking, and you were being raised by somebody who really knows the scriptures. Father's blessed me to really know the scriptures, and I'm doing it. So I'm not just telling you about it and I'm just not doing it. No, I'm fasting. I'm gonna be I'm fasting, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm already doing that stuff. So it's like yeah, I'm already here. You know what I'm saying? I got raising my children in this way, doing this stuff, you know, spiritually first and physically built. I mean, like, yeah, like you, people don't even understand the benefits of even exercising and what that even does to your mental. You know, it's like we had the spiritual to this stuff. It's like they're going to be fine. Like, like, yo, but I already know any any true brother or sister knows, like raising them up with the sword, the, the word of our father in heaven. It's like, I just, you know, I, I love Psalms too. Cause like when our father in heaven, remember our brother said, does our father in heaven, uh, you know, is, is, does he um have jokes or something like that? I forgot exactly what he said. I just thought about Psalms. So I'm like, our father in heaven laughs at them. <laughs> you know, I do as well. I'm just like, they don't even know, you know, pray to, pray to look out for that, for that great and terrible day though. You know, pray you keep your eyes open for that. Again, told our brother, hey, repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. And his brother changes his life around as well. So I pray that brother as well, you know, continuing on the way, you know. But he laughed when I first said that to him, though. Thought it was funny. I said it serious. It's a, as serious as I'm saying it now. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at him. Already confessed some sins to me. And I didn't say it. And I'm not saying this to be like, um, everybody do this right now or nothing weird. Or just to trying to, like, overly boost myself. I'm just telling you how I honestly said it. I was unashamed. I was sitting on my porch. Anybody else who was around could have heard it, heard it, whatever. I'm looking directly at him, getting into his vehicle, and I shouted at him, repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. Woke our brother up like that, laughing, said, he's like, I don't have a watch. Hey, well, you better get a spiritual watch. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, you better look at the, look at what's going on. Like, things are going on. And then it's like, it's like, if I focus on those thoughts from Satan, it's like, honestly, for me, it's like, it's, I take it as it's like a, it's just like the game, you know, I, rem I remember running track, and when people was talking, I mean, I felt like that's when I performed my best. It's like, it's nothing to say. Like, if you know, if you're going to beat me, then you're going to beat me. You know what I'm saying? But we don't got to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to beat me, then you're going to have to show me that you're going to beat me. Because if you don't beat me, honestly, it's either going to go, well, it can go three ways. You know, we can tie, you're going to beat me, or I'm going to beat you. That's the only three ways that's, that is going to go down. That's the only three things that's going to happen. So, again, it's nothing to talk about. You know, the track is here. The event is getting ready to start. When the gun goes off, you go faster than me. <laughs> like, that's all I can say to you. Like, you know what I mean? That's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? I take it the same way now. It's like, okay, well, you all can say whatever you want, you know? I pray you watch your mouth, and I pray you pray before you speak. Think before you speak. I mean, you don't got to just bladder, spit anything out your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what I used to do, you know? I'm asking our Father and Messiah, the Holy Spirit, to forgive me. I mean, but yeah, brothers and sisters, this is what we're being called to do. You know, I've even heard about people in the world wanting to be perfectionists. You know, I was one of those type of people as well. Again, for me, it was like video games. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be a perfectionist. I wanted to play the games perfectly. But all things come with time as well and grinding. You know what I'm saying? You have to do it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And obviously, Messiah got to the highest level. So, And then he's telling us we're going to do works um, greater than him works like him and greater so this is what he's calling us to do it's a heavy word it's a hard word you can hear it and yeah it's like 
you can hear it and just shy away from the word. You can hear it, accept the calling, and be like, let's get it, you know. So, may our Father, Messiah, let's pray. We'll just pray that you all are well, brothers and sisters. I pray that this video can have, have helped somebody out. I mean, it's definitely just helped me to listen to the Holy Spirit to start flowing. And it's motivating for me, man. It makes you just want to keep going, keep fighting this, keep fighting this fight, keep fighting this battle. You know, I'm ready. Ready. Always stay on my toes. Ready. Do as I'm told. I do not think that this world is ready. <laughs> I pray you all the well, brothers and sisters. Peace.